Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about the COVID-19 situation in South Africa, and this is an audio-only video. And in South Africa, the COVID-19 is very bad right now. Uh, on July 2nd of this year, South Africa had recorded 24,270 new cases in one day, and that is a record for the country of South Africa. Now, uh, South Africa has had a problem distributing the vaccines. Less than 5% of the nation of South Africa has been vaccinated from the COVID-19. Uh, only 5% of them have received the COVID-19 vaccination, only 5% of South Africa's residents. And President Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa, is saying this is vaccine apartheid. Well, that is not true. Uh, Cyril Ramaphosa could have stopped in allowing embezzlements of COVID-19 funds, and he could have given tax breaks or government subsidies to South African companies to develop a COVID-19 vaccine, and he could have bought more COVID-19 vaccines than he did, but he chose to go through the COVAX program and get the vaccines for free and vaccines that were developed by other countries. That was his personal decision and the personal decision of his party. Well, that's backfired. Um, also, there is a lot of drama in the medical field in South Africa. The South African Medical Association has threatened to take the South African government to court because there are 2,000 South African medical school graduates without a job, and South Africa is facing a severe doctor and nursing shortage due to this COVID-19 pandemic that is all across South Africa. And the Delta variant that has originated out of India has been found in South Africa as well. So the, it is just very problematic right now in South Africa. And so, the president of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, has also banned alcohol sales again. And banning alcohol sales for private consumption in the home is not going to have any effect on the COVID-19 one way or, the, or another. That's just a ridiculous move. And he also is not regulating the taxi industry. He's allowing the taxis and the buses to operate at 100%. And that's the reason that the COVID is so rampant in South Africa. South Africa has had over 60,000 deaths of the COVID-19. And that is by far the highest in the continent of Africa, of all the African nations. South Africa has the highest death toll. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.